President Trump has denied $3 million in government help for law implementation in Los Angeles because of their unlawful haven city status. Remaining consistent with his guarantee of stripping financing far from such asylum urban areas, Trump and AG Jeff Sessions denied a demand by LA authorities to get government financing to manage viciousness caused by unlawful outsiders. The LA Times reports. This year, LA authorities connected for more than $3 million in government financing to assist convey a similar program to Harvard Park, a South LA neighborhood scarred by brutality. The ask for was denied. The U.S. Division of Justice hasn't offered the LAPD a clarification of why the office didn't get any of the $98 million in stipends as of late granted to scores of law implementation offices the country over. A representative for the government organization declined to remark when asked by The Times a week ago. In any case, after the Trump organization's rehash dangers to withhold government cash from urban areas that don't participate with its migration crackdown, some LAPD authorities said they trust the move was retaliatory, and an upsetting indication of what could come. Steve Sobaroff, leader of the regular Citizen Police Commission that administers the LAPD, said that he trusts the Justice Department denied the financing demand as a result of the LAPD's all-around advertised, hands-off way to deal with movement implementation. Sobaroff said he stresses future subsidizing may likewise be in danger. Group policing is what policing's about. Battle-ready policing, worker badgering isn't, he said. By disregarding that, or organizing it underneath their issue of Haven Urban Areas and collaboration with ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, the needs aren't right. On the off chance that this is a glimpse of a larger problem, we will set back law implementation and policing and open well-being by decades, he included. The LAPD had intended to utilize the cash to enlist 25 officers for the group policing program in Harvard Park, one of the city's deadliest neighborhoods. The generally half-mile region saw eight crimes in 2016, about triple the number from the prior year. So far this year, six individuals have been slaughtered. TheGetAwayPundit.com reports, Los Angeles leader, Eric Garcetti has straightforwardly challenged Trump and been a vocal adversary of the Hashmaga plan. A Mick.com article on Garchetti highlights such recesses as We will guard any undocumented laborer who will be expelled, he said straight in a current meeting. The words are went down indeed, in December, Los Angeles uncovered an aggressive $10 million store to give lawful guidance to inhabitants confronting extradition. Los Angeles and Orange Districts all things considered, are home to one million undocumented migrants, or about 10 percent of every single undocumented worker across the nation. Los Angeles is likewise one of the real urban communities that has been focused by ICE strikes in the fallout of the decision. Los Angeles County Sheriff Jim McDonnell has said he's anxious about losing $132 million throughout the following three years in view of his district's harboring of displaced people referring to an August LA Daily News article. On Thursday, Attorney General Jeff Sessions sent letters to four urban communities, incorporating two in California, debilitating to deny government wrongdoing battling help if the urban communities don't venture up endeavors to help keep and extradite individuals living in the nation illicitly. The focused on urban areas, which have all battled with wrongdoing, are Stockton, San Bernardino, Baltimore, and Albuquerque, New Mexico. All communicated enthusiasm for the Justice Department's new public safety partnership, government authorities said. The program gives help from government specialists, examiners and innovation to discover answers for wrongdoing. While the Justice Department did not call out any groups in L.A. region in its most recent move to rebuff purported asylum urban areas, McDonnell has said the region's constrained participation with government migration officers strikes a vital harmony between open well-being and open trust. The greater part of government concede reserves that McDonnell fears could at last be being referred to, $105 million of the $132 million would originate from DHS for the proceeded with improvement of a framework to upgrade radio and broadband correspondence for police, firefighters, paramedics and other crisis responders in the district.